Welcome to the Reality Sports Workout of the Day. It's Tuesday, we're ready to get after it. Here's what we got going on today. Our workout has two different components to it, a strength piece and a cardio piece. So we're gonna start off with the strength piece. And what that looks like is we've got four sets of 12 of a, of a kettlebell single arm bench and four sets of 15 with a kettlebell skull crusher. And so what that looks like is we'll do a set of number one and then a set of number two. And we'll go back and forth until we get four in each workout completed. With that being said, let's get into single arm kettlebell bench and see what that looks like. All right, let's take a look at kettlebell single arm bench. What we're gonna need is a handy dandy kettlebell, surprise. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find something to lay on, whether that's if you have a bench at home or whether you have a bed or a, a, maybe you stack a bunch of chairs together. But the idea is we want to have room for our elbow to come below ground level. So if we're laying on the ground, that's not going to be good enough for us. We need something to allow our elbow to get below ground level. So we're going to grab our kettlebell. I'm going to hold the kettlebell in the palm of my hand with it going towards the back of my wrist. As I lean back, the kettlebell sits right in line with my shoulder. And I give it a good press. And now I do that 12 times. After I've done that 12 times, now I can switch to the other side. That is our kettlebell single arm bench. All right, that was our that was our kettlebell single arm bench. Now let's move into the second part of the strength piece, and that is our kettlebell skull crushers. Let's now also see what those look like as well. All right, welcome to the how-to on kettlebell skull crushers. So what we're gonna need is our handy dandy kettlebell, and we're also gonna need Welcome, let's learn how to do a kettlebell skull crusher. We're gonna need a handy dandy kettlebell. For this one, we don't need a bench. You can do this one on the floor. If you have a bench, great. If not, that's all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the kettlebell with two hands and we're gonna lay down. Now the goal here with the skull crusher is I'm gonna hold this kettlebell in my palms and I'm gonna hold it above my head. Now the reason this is called a skull crusher is because if we make a mistake, we can really hurt ourselves. So with good focus here, I'm gonna bend at my elbows as the kettlebell comes down to my forehead and I extend up. This is supposed to be working our triceps. Skull crushers, kettlebell skull crushers. Great, now that we've finished the strength piece of our workout, let's get into the cardio portion. And here's what that looks like for us today. We're gonna to do what's called an AMRAP. That means as many rounds as possible. So we're gonna give 10 minutes on the clock and we're gonna see how many times we can work through all four of these exercises in 10 minutes. So once you get through all four, that's a round and the goal is to see how many rounds we can get at the end of 10 minutes. And so what we have is 30 mountain climbers, We've got 25 butterfly sit-ups, 20 tricep dips, and 15 kettlebell thrusters. Let's get into each one of those and what they look like, starting with mountain climbers. All right, we're gonna learn some mountain climbers. Here's the basics of what we're looking for in our mountain climbers. We're gonna go with our palms flat, feet out, back is as flat as we can. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a step up till our foot is right underneath us. And then our feet switch. With this one, one and one is one. So we're gonna do a total of 30. So it's one, two, three, all the way up to 30. That's our mountain climbers. Next up on the list is butterfly sit-ups. So here's what we're gonna do with our butterfly sit-ups. My feet are gonna to be together as my knees come apart. My hands are straight back. As I sit up, I gotta make sure I get all the way up and touch my toes. If I can touch my heels, that's not far enough. I gotta get to my toes. And so we're gonna do 25 butterfly sit-ups. Next up on the list, we've got tricep dips. 
Here's what that looks like. You're going to need something to put your hands on that's a, that's a couple feet off the ground, maybe a foot off the ground. So if you have a bench, great. Maybe you could use a chair, uh, some stairs, anything that's going to make it so that we can put our feet out and just my hands remain on the bench. Now I'm going to bend at my arms so that I can all the way down the ground. And I push, that's one. Two, we're going to do 20 tricep dips. If that's difficult for you, you can bring your feet in. And that should make it a little bit easier, but if you can, you should try with your feet straight. Tricep dips. The last one we got on the list is a kettlebell thruster. So we're going to grab our kettlebell. I'm going to hold it in this position here with both my hands on it. I'm going to squat to where my elbows touch my knees. And then when I come up, I'm going to press it all the way above my head. That's one thruster. The goal is to get 15 thrusters with that kettlebell. At that point, I'm ready to go back to item number one. Finish out our AMRAP, 10 minutes. All right, that's the workout for today. Our hashtag beat coach boss number of the day is four, is four. So that means I got through this workout four times. I got four whole rounds in 10 minutes. And so your job now is to beat me. Try to get five. If you get four, you're right on par with me. And so that's my challenge to everyone watching this video. Beat me. See if you can't beat my time. All right, get after it. Let's make it a great day.